feel for us? A Suzuki member of the club, Liberal member of the club. So tell me, how do you feel about the outcome of today? Uh, very relieved. I think um, common sense prevailed. It was a very thorough and hard fought debate in um, first the lower house, then the upper house, and then back down to the lower house. So it's been rigorously uh, scrutinised, excruciatingly so, and I'm very confident that this is nation leading um, legislation and a very historic occasion for Tasmania. Obviously, you went against your own party there to ensure that these got across the line. Why did you do that? Uh, because I'm a person who believes I stood for certain values and um, I just can't be part of something that I don't uh, believe in and I think um, I'm still true blue liberal. I you know, haven't joined Labor or the Greens. I don't see this as a win for any particular party nor a loss to the others. Um, it's about a victory for common sense and decency for the transgender community. We have to believe that, um, if you like, God created all of us and created us equally and transgender people are no different to the rest of us and deserve to be, live a life free of discrimination. What do you hope this means now going forward? Well, I hope we can all just move on and that um, people of the transgender community, in particularly their parents and uh, friends and family, etc., can get on with life. Uh, no one else in the other world, when the world is affected by this, other than people who will be transgender. So um, I'm just hoping that uh, it, it is perfect and that the transgender community is very happy. Obviously your party wouldn't be so happy with you at the moment? Oh, I don't think they're unhappy. I mean, I've given them plenty of notice about how I felt about it and I've sent up documents from time to time and I've been very um, persuasive about how I feel. So there's, this is not a shock, they knew exactly how I felt. I was a little horrified with some of the road blockages that were put in place by the government to access to the um, parliamentary writers. And also, I'm um, saying this was social experiments on children, and a few other derogatory terms. Now I do understand people have very strong views, and they're entitled to them, and that goes for anyone in any political party. But um, I just think we need to be really careful about our language. And if Christchurch didn't show that, then I don't know what will. You know? The one thing that I think was important out of this is there was a lot of banding around about unintended consequences. The real unintended consequence was not passing this legislation because there is a really high suicide rate amongst the transgender community. So you know, just delaying and uh, making an agonising thing. Anything else you wanted to say? Well, just that the world's moved on. You know, once upon a time, we treated Aboriginals as flora and fauna. They were actually classified as that. Uh, Britain had slaves. They could sell someone's body. Um, homosexuals were locked up. Um, you know, it was a crime to have sex with someone from your same sex. So, to me, this is this little next step. You know, Tasmania showed overwhelmingly that we strongly supported the same marriage equality debate. And um, I think, you know, the sky's not going to fall in, people are going to get to, used to it and we'll all move on and be much happier for it. Thank you so much. Thank you.